Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and today I wanted to do a top five on a director that I thought was great that we just lost, and that is Rigor Diodato. I mean, we didn't just lose him, but we did lose him on December 29th, 2022. And um, I've been wanting to do this for a while. It was just a matter of kind of narrowing it down and getting the Blu-rays and DVDs. So, I'm going to do a top five. I actually have ten films by him. Technically nine, um, because I do have December, and he only does a small part on that. So, I don't know if you guys count that. I'm not sure. But out of that ten, I'm going to be doing a top five. All right, coming up at number five is going to be Cannibal Holocaust. This was a tough one for me. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to include a Jungle Holocaust or Cannibal Holocaust, but I do believe that this film, I think it makes a bigger impact. And I probably like them almost the same, but this movie is definitely one of the most disturbing movies ever made. Um, with this edition, you can actually watch it one of two ways. You can watch it with or without the animal cruelty. So um, if it's something you do want to see, Pick up the Grindhouse um, edition of it because, like I said, you can watch it without all the animal stuff because that's what really bothers me, even though I've never seen the uh, cruelty-free video. So, <laughs> All right. Number four is going to be Cut and Run. Now, I guess they consider it his Jungle Cannibal Trilogy. You have Cannibal Holocaust. Um, Jungle Holocaust actually was before that and in Cut and Run. Um, this one is a lot of fun. It has Willie Ames, of course, Michael Berryman, uh, Richard Lynch, and um, it was one that kind of had to grow on me, but I do like it a lot now. It's more of an adventure than a Jungle Cannibal film, um, but it's, it's pretty cool. And Michael Berryman is really good in this movie, really good. So. That's number four, Cut and Run. Uh, number three is a giallo called The Washing Machine. This is one I just saw recently and one I've been wanting to see for a long time. And it did not disappoint. It's kind of an erotic giallo, I guess. A lot of nudity, a lot of death, but it's really a lot of fun too. So... Uh, check out The Washing Machine if you can. I know they do have it on Prime. It was free to watch for a while. I'm not sure if it is now, but um, that's how I was able to watch it for the first time. And a special thank you to Joe for making a copy of this, because this is really, really hard to find. So, yes, The Washing Machine at number three. Number two, I decided to dig out uh, this copy of House on the Edge of the Park. Again, another uh, Roguro Diodato movie that had to grow on me a little bit. Um, I love it now. I think it's really, really cool as a home invasion film. It's also really cool as a reverse um, revenge movie, kind of, if you look at it that way. But this is a drive-in double feature that has... Um, Last House on Massacre Street, which is really fun. Um, but House on the Edge of the Park is amazing. Really violent. Really cool. R.I.P. David Hess. R.I.P. R. Rigoro Diodato. All right. And number one, most people who know me know I love my slasher movies. And that is going to be Body Count. I mean, just look at the mask. That just tells you everything you need to know right here. Again, David Hess is in this movie. The story is not the greatest, but it is a really, really good Italian slasher movie. And like I said, this mask is just amazing. I don't know why we haven't gotten a Blu-ray of this, an uncut Blu-ray, because there are several cuts of this film. But we really, really do need it. So, all right, recapping. We have Body Count at number one. House on the Edge of the Park, number two. 
the washing machine at number three. Thank you. Go. Cut and run at number four. And probably everyone's favorite, Cannibal Holocaust at number five. Check out some of uh, Gregorio Diodato's films. And um, it's a shame that we lost him on December 29th. If you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace. Thank you.